Hi there, let's do a nice vinyasa strong flow. Here we go. I'm gonna take off my sweater even though it's a little chilly today. We'll get moving really quickly because it's a little chilly this morning. Let's go ahead and start in child's pose. And big toes touching and knees wide, please. And oh my word, the moon's still out this morning. It's so beautiful. Go ahead and rest your forehead down on the ground. Soften your temples, please. Relax your jaw, your shoulders, your hips, your thighs. Stretch the tops of the feet. Just take a big inhale and a big exhale. Very nice. Let's get going. Spread your fingers wide. Ground your knuckles, ground your knees, and go ahead and look up. And look to your belly button. Let's do a few cat cows. Look up. And look to your belly. Big ujjayi breath. In through the nose. And out through the nose. Let's go right into downward dog. Straight arms, straight legs if you can. If you need to bend your knees, that's okay. Or you can even bicycle your legs. You can bend your right knee and bend your left knee and just bend your right knee and bend your left knee. Straighten both legs. Let's go ahead and walk our hands back to our feet for our first forward bend. Bend your knees ever so slightly. Grab your elbows. If you want to try to straighten your knees, go ahead and do so. And just relax your head. And just breathing in through your nose and out through your nose. And you can switch elbows, please. The crossing of your elbows. Breathe in and breathe out. And then we'll go ahead and come into a chair. Hands in prayer and come on up to standing. Come on up to samastadihi. Samastadihi means same pressure in the right foot and the left foot. I'm going to put my hair back. It's a little windy this morning, but I love that the moon is still out. I'm here in Santa Monica. It's like 7.30 in the morning here. Spread your toes. For more balance, you can bring your feet hip distance, but I like my big toes touching. Spread your toes, lift your kneecaps, engage your belly and your buttocks. Go ahead and inhale up, look up, and exhale down. Come onto your fingertips and look up, and go ahead and step back into a plank position. Hold plank position, and from here we can go into chaturanga. You can either come do this on your knees or straight legs and come into a push-up position. Your knees might be easier and then come right into an upward cobra and look up and downward dog and hands shoulder width apart, feet hip, di hip distance apart. Take a big inhale, exhale. And just inhale, exhale, inhale, and exhale. Step your right foot forward, please. Come into a lunge. Ground your back heel, please. Hands to your hips. And go ahead and bring your left arm forward like you're going to shake someone's hand. Retract it back ever so slightly. Interlace the thumbs and go up. And really, you can, as you interlace your thumbs, energetically push your thumbs, hands away from each other to spread those collarbones. Ground your right foot, please. Ground your left foot. And then hands in prayer. Let's go back to plank position. Hold plank position, please. Straight arms like you're doing a handstand. Ground your thumb, index, middle ring, and pinky fingers. Heart forward. 
thighs internally rotate. And you can either come onto your knees for chaturanga, it's a little easier on your shoulders, or you can do straight legs. Come into upward cobra, look up. And downward dog. Go ahead and breathe in. And breathe out. In through the nose and out through the nose, please. Gaze at your belly button. Or in some traditions, they have the ears lined up with your upper arms. So yogi's choice. In Ashtanga, they have you gaze at your belly button. In Iyengar yoga, the ears are aligned with the upper arms. See what feels better for you. Go ahead and left foot forward, please. Look straight ahead, feel that yummy lunge. Ground your right back foot. Hands to your hips, please. Preparing for warrior one. Right arm forward like you're gonna shake someone's hand. Retract it back slightly. The upper arm, interlace the thumbs the opposite way, please. And reach up. Really nice. Ground your left foot, please. Ground your right foot, please. Lift your back ribs and your side ribs. You can choose to look straight ahead and bring those arms behind your ears, or you can choose to look up. Yogi's choice. And the traditional in Ashtanga is to look up. But you can also look straight ahead. Whatever feels good for you. Hands in prayer. Let's go back to plank. Hold plank position, please. Engage your belly muscles. Straight arms, please. Straight legs, please. And feel that strength in your arms, the strength in your abdominals, please. Now, for those that have shoulder issues, come onto your knees for chaturanga. For those that don't have any shoulder issues, just go right into chaturanga push-up position and go into an upper dog. So nice. Look up and downward dog. So good. And then from here, let's go ahead and step the feet forward. Look up and a forward bend. Go ahead and reach up and look up. Reach up and some steady he. Sameness between the right foot and the left foot. Belly button in, lift your heart. Let's go back into a lifting up to the heavens. If you want to throw a little bit of a back bend here. Looking back. And come on down. Go ahead and look up and step back into plank position, please. Hold plank position. Ground your thumb, index, middle ring, and pinky fingers. Chaturanga, either on your knees or your toes. And look up. And downward dog. So nice. And then go ahead and step your right foot forward again. Look straight ahead. Ground your back heel, hands to your waist. Keep your right knee bent, left arm forward, like you're gonna shake someone's hand, retract it back. Interlace the thumbs and reach up. Ground your right foot, ground your left foot. Lift the back ribs and the side ribs. Look up if you choose. And then hands in prayer, plank position. Hold plank position. Straight arms, ground your thumb, index, middle ring, and pinky fingers. Chaturanga. Upward dog. Downward dog. Breathing in and breathing out straight arms. Straight legs if you can. Work those thighs back. So good, returning back to the breath. Grounding your hands, grounding your feet. And left foot forward, please. Look straight ahead. Ground your back foot, hands to your waist. 
right arm forward, please. And retract it back slightly. Interlace the thumbs the opposite way. And look up or look straight ahead. Yogi's choice. Lift your back ribs, your side ribs, as you anchor your feet into the earth. Really nice hands in prayer. Plank position, hold plank. Stay there, straight arms. Let's throw a side plank in. So roll onto the right hand and the right foot. You can bring the left foot in front. I find that easier on the shoulders and look up. And if you wanna bring the arm over or keep it straight up to the heavens. Bring it back up, plank position. Hold plank position, please. Straight arms, ground your thumb, index, middle ring, and pinky fingers. And let's do the other side. Bring the right foot forward to really ground that foot. Reach up. And then reach over, stretching the side body. And reach back up. Look up at your thumb. Come back to plank. Hold plank position, please. Let's go back into a chaturanga. You can either keep your legs straight or come onto your knees, come into a plank position and upward. Look up and downward dog. Hold downward dog. Gaze at your belly button. Straight arms, straight legs. So nice. Let's bring the right leg up. Bring that foot forward. Look straight ahead. Ground your right foot, ground your left toes. Ground your left hand. Let's throw a little twist in there. And look up. Look up at your thumb. Soften those shoulder blades, please. Ground your right foot, ground your left toes. Ground your left hand as you reach your right hand up to the sky. Look up at your thumb. Always returning back to the breath. Bring that hand back down, please. Ground your back foot. Hands to your waist. And left arm forward. Retract it back slightly. Interlace the thumbs. And let's go right into a warrior three. Bringing your arms forward, please. That's the gaze, the dristi. I'm interlacing my thumbs. Walk your back foot in. Get really balanced, belly button in, and stretch. Get really long, breathing deeply. Stretch your left leg back and your arms forward. Breathing deeply. Long inhalations and long exhalations. Really nice, grounding that back foot. Reach your arms up to the heavens. Reach up, hands in prayer, open to warrior two. And really bend that right knee, making sure it's over the second and third toes. Ground your feet and breathe. Just feel your feet touching the earth. Really ground your feet, belly button in, lift your heart. Extend through those arms to open up those lungs and reverse warrior. Go back and breathe. So good. You can bring the fingertips, you can bring the forearm either to your upper thigh or you can bring the right hand down to the ground. Whatever feels good for you and then bringing the left arm over and the gaze is at your pinky. You can roll your heart slightly open to the heavens and look up at your pinky. Stay there and breathe. So good. Now let's go ahead and just sweep back to warrior two. If you wanna grab the thigh to come up, that's totally okay. Reach up for warrior two. Belly button in, long inhalations and long exhalations, opening up the upper body, 
Straighten your right leg, please. And then from here, let's go right to triangle. Reach up to the sky. Look up at your thumb and breathe deeply. Long inhalations and long exhalations. Ground your right foot. Ground your left foot. And breathe. Ujjayi breath. Reach over. Come back to plank. Straight legs. Go right to plank. Let's throw some abdominals in there. Bring your right knee to your right elbow. Your left to your left. Bring your right knee to your right elbow. And your left to your left. And right to right. Left to left. Right to right. And left to left. And then we'll go right into a chaturanga. If you want to stay on your knees for chaturanga, that's completely okay. And look up. Reach up. Open up your heart. Come back to downward dog. And breathe in. And breathe out. So good. Lift your left leg up, please. And then from here, just step that foot forward, please. And stay there. Look straight ahead. Ground your right hand and bring your left hand up. Twisting into your abdominals, please. Softening those shoulders away from the ears. Reach up with that left hand up to the heavens. Again, ground your right hand. Ground your left foot. Ground your right toes. Root to rebound. Really ground everything touching the earth. Ground your back foot. Really nice hands to your waist. Right arm forward, like you're gonna shake someone's hand. Retract it back slightly, please. Interlace the thumbs and go up. Look straight ahead or look up. Breathing in. And breathing out. Really grounding those feet and lifting up with your heart and your arms up to the heavens. Getting as much space in your body as you can. From here, we're gonna go right into warrior three. Walk your back foot in. Gaze at those hands, belly button in, straight arms, and the right leg back and stretch. One, breathe two, three, four, and five, and go back to warrior one, please. Reach up, look up at your thumbs, hands in prayer, open up to warrior two, and adjust through those arms, please. Bend your left knee, engage your belly muscles, spread those fingers. Again, go into grounding your left foot, Ground your right foot. And return back to the breath. So good. Really nice. Reverse the hand back. And I always, I love what my spiritual teacher told me years ago. I strive for imperfection. There's no such thing as a perfect pose. You can strive for ex excellence, but for perfectionism can create shame. So bring your forearm onto your thigh, or you can bring your hand to the floor, yogi's choice, or to a block, and look at your pinky. Roll your heart slightly open to the heavens. Ground your back foot. Ground your left foot, and lengthen the side body, and stretch. Breathing in and breathing out. Now here you can bring your left hand to the thigh if you want to come up, if that's challenging. And then reach up, extend through those arms to open up those lungs. Breathing in and breathing out. And there's no perfect pose. 
You're striving for excellence just by getting on your mat. Reach up to the sky. Reach up. You can have your left hand on a block or on your shin. Yogi's choice. And then from here, let's go right to plank position. Hold plank position, please. Ground your thumb, index, middle ring, and pinky fingers. Look up. Stay there and breathe. From here, we're going to roll to the right. Now from here, if you can, grab your left big toe. And if this is too much for you, stay in side plank without grabbing your left foot. From here, reach up with that left foot. And if you can, bring that foot back for rock star pose. Reach back. Open up the heart. Sweep back to plank. Really nice. Hold plank position. Engage your abdominals. Now here, roll to the left. Bend your right knee. Grab your big toe and reach it up to the sky. Now, this is too advanced for you. Just stay in the last pose side plank or you can try tree reach up with that foot breathing deeply and then bring that foot back behind you for the root of the big toe and then reach back open up your heart reach up and then come back to plank pose hold plank position please and then from here chaturanga or you can come onto your knees, like I showed you earlier, come into a plank. Chaturanga, upper dog, and downward dog. Again, breathe in, and breathe out. Breathe in, and breathe out and then come onto your knees hands onto your buttocks push your tailbone down and look up open up come back onto your heels and breath of fire hands onto your buttocks and let's touch the right heel we have a bunch of runners running by us so you might hear a lot of chatter clap touch your left heel reach up with the upper hand the right hand and clap and other side reach up and clap and other side reach up and clap and other side reach up and clap and other side and then hands in prayer hands onto your buttocks flesh elbows closer together and see if you can just I'm on my tippy toes that gives you a little bit more of an advantage to grab your heels and if this is hard for you then just go ahead and keep your hands on your tailbone. Breathe in and breathe out. Breathe in and breathe out. And from here, let's go ahead and come into cat cow again. That takes the sensitivity of the lower back out after camel pose, so inhale and exhale in through the nose and out through the nose inhale and exhale inhale and exhale
exhale. Downward dog. Hold downward dog, please. Walk your hands back to your feet. Grab your elbows and dangle. And just find the weight just in front of your heels, please. So you can ground all four points of the foot, please. Let your head dangle and switch the crossing of your elbows, please. Breathing in. Ujjayi breath. And breathing out. Clasp your hands behind your back if you can. Opening up the shoulders. And then go ahead and switch fingers. Breathing in and breathing out. Let's go right into a chair. Hands in prayer. Bring the left elbow onto the right thigh and just do a little bit of a twist here. Look up. Lengthen the spine. Make sure your knees are even. Mine's, my left foot's a little more in front of my right. So even out your knees. And let's go to the other side. Right elbow onto your left knee and twist. Cleansing the liver, the kidneys, and the spleen as you twist. Let's go back to center. Come on up. Big toes together, please. Middle of the mat, big toes touching. And then from here, let's go ahead into dancer's pose. Bring your left hand to your sternum, please. Grab your right ankle. Inner knees together. Stay there. Right heel towards your buttocks. If you're comfortable here, let's lean the right knee back and the left arm forward. One. Breathe two. Breathe three. Breathe four. Breathe. And five. Go ahead and come back to center. Samastadahi. Belly button in. Engage your buttocks and belly. Grab your left ankle, please. Inner knees together. Breathing in. And breathing out. Really nice. And then let's go ahead and bring that left knee back and the right arm forward. Breathe in and breathe out. Breathe in and breathe out. Breathe in and breathe out. And then hands in prayer. Step up to the top of the mat. Big toes touching, reach up to the sky. A little bit of a back bend here. Go ahead and touch your toes. Come all the way down. Inhale up. And let's go ahead and just step the left foot back. Bend your right knee, please. And then from here, let's straighten the right leg, nose to knee, and bend. Look straight ahead. And nose to knee. And bend your right knee. And nose to knee. And bend. Ground your left hand. Bring your right hand up. Reach up to the sky. Bring that hand back down, please. So good. Ground your back foot, please. Hands to your waist. Left arm forward. Retract it back slightly. Interlace the thumbs and reach up. Reach up to the sky. Hands in prayer. Warrior two. Extend through those arms. Belly button in. And go back to reverse warrior. And here we'll just bring the forearm onto the thigh for an easy Parsvokanasana. Come back to warrior two. 
belly button in and triangle. And here we're going to go to Ardha Chandrasana. You might want to use a block and go ahead and extend through that left heel. Flex that left heel. And then if you're comfortable here, you can try to bend your top foot and grab your left ankle and open up and breathe. It's kind of like Ardha Chandrasana with a dancer pose. I think some people call this pineapple pose. This doesn't look like a pineapple to me. So go ahead and release that foot. Come back to triangle, please. Reach over and come back into chaturanga. Plank pose, chaturanga, and look up. and go back. Really nice. Let's go ahead and step the left foot forward, please. And then straighten your left leg. And bend. Straighten. And bend. There's a bunch of runners coming by. And then straighten. And bend. Bring your left arm up. Let's just twist. Reach up. Bring that hand back down. Ground your back heel. Hands to your waist. Right arm forward. Retract it back slightly. Interlace the thumbs. You guys are doing great. We're almost done. Hands in prayer. Open to warrior two. Reverse warrior. Go back. And then forearm onto your thigh. We'll do an easy Parsvokanasana. Reach up and over. Sweep back to warrior two. Engage your belly muscles. Triangle. Reach up to that. Belly button in. And then we'll go ahead and walk the back foot in. And Ardha Chandrasana. Extend through that back heel. If you need a block, use a block. And if you feel comfortable here, bend the top leg and grab your ankle and open up that thigh. Breathing in and breathing out. Really nice. Release that foot. Come back to triangle, please. Reach over. Now here, bring both toes straight ahead, or to the side. Reach up, and then here, reach up with your right hand. Look up. Come back to center, and the other side. Twist in the upper back. Hands to your waist. Let's go ahead and bring the toes out, pushing those knees open. And from here, bring your right shoulder to the midline and then your left shoulder to the midline and then your right shoulder to the midline and then your left shoulder to the midline twisting you might get a free chiropractic adjustment here really nice hands in prayer and then go ahead and bring your forearm over to one thigh reach over Hands in prayer and other side. Reach over. Come back into a squat. From here, parallel your feet. Open up. Hands onto your buttocks, flesh. Look up and slide down. Grab your outer ankles and drop your head. Let your torso dangle. Lift the shoulders away from your ears. And from here, go ahead and clasp your hands around and bring them over towards the ground. Breathing in and breathing out. Switch fingertips if you can. The interlace of your fingers, breathe in and breathe out. Really nice. Bring your hands back to the ground and look straight ahead. 
Step your feet together, please. Hands in prayer, come on up. And then from here, we're gonna go ahead and face. We're in the middle of the mat. Come into a squat and push those elbows into your inner legs and lift your heart and just breathe here. Straighten your right arm in front of your right shin and reach up, look at your left fingertips. If you can comfortably grab your left hand, go ahead and do so and reach up. Hands back into prayer. Straighten your left arm in front of your left shin. Reach up and grab that right hand behind you if that's comfortable and twist. Hands in prayer. Then here we're going to try to balance on our upper arms. So spread your fingers. Bring your elbows out to the side so you can balance your knees on your upper arms. And go ahead and try to straighten your arms if you can while your knees stay on your upper arms. Stay there and breathe. Long inhalations and long exhalations. Breathing deeply. Now for those that are comfortable, we'll try this with tripod headstand. So from here, keep your hand shoulder width apart. Okay, bring your knees down onto the ground. And from here, just come onto the crown of the head. Walk your feet in. And go ahead and reach the legs up to the sky. Ground your hands. Ground your thumb, index, middle ring, and pinky fingers. And breathe, engage your buttocks and belly. And then go ahead and bend your knees so they come to your upper arms. And then go ahead and just lift your head up. Ground your hands. Lift your head up. Spread your toes. And then from here, try to come back into headstand. Reach up, you got this. Ground your hands. Reach up to the sky. Very nice. For those that can go right to Chaturanga, go to Chaturanga. For those who want to just bend slowly, but if you want to just drop down and come into Chaturanga and upward dog, downward dog. Straight arms, straight legs. So good. And then jump through to sitting. And from here, we'll go right to plank, straight arm plank, feet hip distance, and look back. Lift your buttocks. Now, for those who can, just keep your arms straight and bring your buttocks through your arms without dropping your buttocks on the ground. And go back up. And go through. And go back. And go through. Go back up. Come on down for Navasana Boat Pose. Spread your toes. Look up to the heavens. Reach up and come forward. Really nice. For those who want to, you can bring your arms down and go right into a plow pose. Bring your feet over, come back down and touch your toes. Bring your feet over, touch your toes. Now, if this is too difficult for you, you can just grab the backs of the knees and just roll back and forth like this six times. And for those that are comfortable, keep your arms by your sides and flip over. It's a nice massage for your back. Keep going, breathing in and breathing out. When you're done with that, Lie down on your back, please. 
and from here interlace your thumbs over your head lift your buttocks bring your knees away from your hands your hands away from your knees and just breathe Ujjayi breath. And then from here, those that are comfortable with back bends can bring their hands, fingertips facing their shoulders, toes in ever so slightly. Come on to the top of the head and bring the elbows towards your knees and knees towards your elbows and come on up into a back bend. And just straight arms. Push your feet into the earth and your hands into the earth. And then slowly come on down. And if you want to do a few more of those, and if that's too challenging, what you can do is interlace your fingertips underneath and squeeze your upper arms together. Push your feet into the earth and lift your buttocks. Breathing in, Ujjayi breath, Ujjayi breath. It's called Jalandhara Bandha. It's a throat lock. And it works the sympathetic nervous system. Bring your left hand, left leg over your right leg. You're crossing your legs at a dinner party. Bring your knees over to the right as you look to the left. Breathing in. And breathing out. And other side. Cross your right leg over your left and breathe in and breathe out really twist the higher you bring your knees towards your head the deeper the twist and if that's hard for you, you can just stack your knees and your ankles from here we're going to go right into Happy baby. Grab the big toes and drop your knees to the side. And then come into Supta Baddha Konasana. Bottoms of the feet together. Place one hand on your heart, one on your belly. And let's do some heart math meditation. Go back to your favorite memory. See what you saw. Hear what you heard and feel what you felt. Go back to your favorite memory. Breathing in. And breathing out. And then go back to another favorite memory. See what you saw, hear what you heard, and feel what you felt as if you were there right here, right now. Breathing in and breathing out. And straighten out your legs for Shavasana. Bod Keeping one hand on your heart, you can straighten the other arm and go back to another favorite memory. And then palms open to the sky. Both palms and just gratitude for your practice. Gratitude for eyes to see and ears to hear. Lips to speak kind words and heart to love. I forgot it's a Saturday morning, so there's a lot of runners this morning. And just breathing in and breathing out. And just stay there for as long as you'd like, marinating in gratitude. Thank you so much for joining me today. 
Remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel and all my love. Thank you, thank you, thank you for practicing with me today. Many blessings.